Boxing. I'm back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So, um, I was in the stream, I was in the Trill Boxing Talk stream yesterday, and I presented a question uh, in a super chat. Like, dude, basically, I said, um, is Eddie Hearn ahead of, ahead of the game targeting a lot of the young talent on his app for the zone? Now, I'm talking about young talent. I'm talking about younger millennials and Generation Z people. You know, the kids who's born in mid-90s and 2000s and late 80s babies, early 90s babies. And then at this point, kids that are like 14, 15, 16. Now, I said this Eddie Hearn had of the game because me growing up, like apps wasn't a thing. I was born in 89. I'm still considered a millennial. But... You got people that, you got kids born in like 99, 2000, 2001. And so I had this conversation with my younger cousin. He's 14 years old. You know, he plays sports. He doesn't box anything. But he, some of his friends were over at, um, at my cousin's house, his mom. And I asked his friends, I'm like, do y'all prefer watching TV and do y'all entertainment from like cable TV or apps? And all of the kids, they looked at me like I was old because it was a no-brainer that the answer was apps. So it seems like the younger generation is definitely leaning towards apps. They like, you know, they like that instant gratification when it comes to social media, but the same convenience and the same accessibility that apps have compared to cable. Like, I can't watch a pay-per-view. I can't order a pay-per-view on my phone watch it at home and, and watch it on the go depending on whatever my lifestyle is but an app that you have a subscription to you can you can watch it on the go no matter what if they are not doing pay-per-views you still have that accessibility to the for those apps so basically the thing about it the thing that inspired this whole talking point for me is um the young prospect Amateur turning pro, Ammo Williams from Texas, signed with Eddie Hearn. And I just saw that De Devin Haney, he signed to Eddie Hearn as well. Now, I saw that he signed to Matchroom, but I'm sure if he's on Matchroom, he'll definitely be fighting on the Zone app. Um, the Zone also has, like, young guys like Jaime Mugia fighting on there as well. Now, me personally, I don't have a the Zone subscription, but I just thought it was interesting because, I mean, when you're older, and I'm not even old, I'm not... 30 yet yeah, I turned 30 this year but it's like a lot of the older guys are looking at this from their perspective like the things that they feel and the things that they see on a daily basis but like I had a conversation with a group of kids um, it was actually like bring your child to work there at my job and I asked some of the younger guys like teenagers there as well and they all say apps they said you know they really don't trip off TV like that they, you know, they watch their apps, they want it on their phone, they want all that entertainment in their pocket, they want it to be portable. So, man, I don't know, man, maybe Eddie Hearn is ahead of the game, maybe this generation of fighters, maybe the fighters that were born, like, in the late 80s, or early 80s and mid 80s, maybe he won't have that grasp on them, but this next generation of fighters, I don't know, Eddie Hearn, he may he may be on to something when it comes to these young kids, young kids. I mean, think about it. Eddie Hearn, he's not that old. And you got promoted as old as dirt like Bob Arum's in the game. Hey, man, if he starts signing all these kids, putting them on this app, and you never know, the zone may partner with another app in the future. They may get in a partnership with Instagram or something like that. You know, a lot of these apps tend to do collaborations when they become popular. So we'll see what happens. I just wanted to talk about it briefly. Devin Haney, you know, he signed with Eddie Hearn. Ammo Williams signed with Eddie Hearn. All I'm going to say is, if another big talent, young fighter, signs with Eddie Hearn, hey, man, it's officially a trend in my book. This is Nino Brown Boxing.